cheat engine. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Eric, D-ADHD Gaming, and I'm going to show you today how to use Cheat Engine with Bluestacks, something I didn't think before was even possible. So let's go ahead and check it out here. First, I'm going to start by opening Bluestacks, and to get Bluestacks, you want to have virtualization en enabled on your computer. You want to have virtualization enabled on your computer, and if it isn't, it might still work for me it still does work but it's just a little bit slower apparently but I haven't noticed much lag for me it's been working pretty well there we go so Bluestacks is opening you also will want to have a Google account preferably one not tied to a credit card or unless you want to make in-app purchases but I would would not I just on the side of caution have a credit card there you can see it's loading up here because you'll want to to install apps on Bluestacks you'll want to have a Google Play account there it is Walking Dead No Man's Land World Warships and something I should know is that I play a lot of games that don't require multiplayer let me go ahead and pull that up for you there we go Okay, and you'll see here that this little thing is flashing. What you'll want to do is click on that, and you're going to attach it to the process you want to use. In this case, what has worked best for me is to click on hdplayer.exe, and that's under the Processes tab. Click Open. Keep the address code list. No, I opened from a previous game, and that was a PC game. So. Starting out, um, let's go to Simpsons Tapped Out. Since this is a game I played for a very long time without Cheat Engine, played it on a tablet, even played for in app purchases and such, before I even knew about Cheat Engine. So, let's see how this goes. Waiting, 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 and here we go. Now also in this case, it may ask you for an EA account. I would also advise against that because you know how EA is, they kind of suck. So in this version, or in this instance, I'll use an anonymous account, which has been saving my data, so that's good. So once it loads up here, So I might just speed this up a little bit there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it started. So you see my town right now is full of people, and these people can only be purchased with in-app purchases. And I don't have a credit card linked to this account, so I haven't made any in-app purchases. I hadn't planned to, because, you know, that. Taboo! Hey, it's what's his name? Okay. Let's go for XP instead. So, we can see our XP is 5,773. We're going to search 5773. Go to first scan. Get a limited list of results, which is good. So, we'll just click on something that gives a low XP. So, it's 5783. We'll just do increase value. So there we go, 5783, 5783. Okay, and they all change the same, so that's good. To change this value, you gotta be careful because too big of experience increases will kick you out of the server. So let's go ahead and change the value of these addresses. And make sure to note what the limit is here. So 25,000, let's not go over that. Value of selected addresses. Let's try 20. Okay, and the next time we collect XP, 
get a little, okay, I caught up. So that's good. So I know I said never to do scans for one, but we're going to want to in this case, which is not too bad. So the scan for the one is the one donut that we have here. And that will increase as soon as we level up. So I'm going to go back here and try to change it to 25,000 is the limit. So I want to do 25, 24, 999. I haven't outright tried to do the full experience amount so I'm scared of what might happen, but. Okay, they're leveled up. So now we have two donuts. And as you can see here, the experience is reset, but it's still the address. Still the same address. So we go two. Next scan. There's 1535. It's already changing, so click two a few times here. Go around on the map. Still two. Still two. Okay. So let's go back and look at the experience. You can also name these so you can keep track of what you're doing. It's really helpful. Let's rename. Do nuts. Whoops, not do nuts. Nuts. Go. So, 25, 825. Let's just shoot for, let's just do 24,000. Just see if that works. We'll see. Select addresses. 24, Okay, that did work. So now we're 24,000. Now let's try 25824. Since 825 is the limit. Okay, I leveled up and got another donut. easier for me a little bit faster so now we should have three donuts oh, the list is getting smaller it looks like we're gonna have to level up again let's go back here to XP oh some other values cropped up there Go back. So at three. So what you'll notice here is that these two values correspond directly to these two. These are likely going to be affiliated with the donuts. It starts with eight F E two D six, and it's within the same range there. And you'll notice that the addresses all end within like four bytes, like four eight zero. You also see. The letter C sometimes. Okay. So there's that. And then we'll look for one that's 79 CEF. 79 CEF right there. And then it's 64 F8. Alright. Those are likely the values we're going to end up with, so we'll just go ahead and try to change it and hope for the best. So I'll click on the top number and hold down shift, and right click, change record, value, fingers crossed, let's do three, five. I'll try to do a random number so it doesn't seem like it's being hacked. Okay. So now I should go try to spend it on something. 
See, up here now it says 3,546, 3, which is what we wanted. So now, let's just go ahead and pick up this dude. Building, six seconds. Heads up! Got Don't head where Ooh, buildings come premium from. character. Auto. Okay. So let's do it again with the other available character, which is Crazy Cat House. And if at this point you do get kicked out of the server... Heads up! Don't uh, head to your what's your face? Though, so you might have to do some of this over again. But boom, I got two new characters just right there. 1,246. Use the open mystery box. Nice. Not sure what this does. Yep, so I got kicked out during that. So what you'll see on the right here is that there may be one dress that still one address that still corresponds to the number of donuts that you had, but you'll have to research to get all of them back. And once you get all of them back, you can change the values again and continue doing it. And as you come back, your items will still be there, which is nice. Your donuts won't. Your money will. See, my money two nine five five. Still have a lot of money. Only have three donuts, which is fine. My structures are still here. And boom, you have hacked the Simpsons tapped out with Cheat Engine. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'll do the best I can to answer them. Thanks, and have a great day. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please like and or subscribe. And give me some feedback if you feel like that's necessary. Love you!